Aquarius family, welcome to your full moon in Taurus reading, uh, your daily message. Also Venus Day, happy Venus Day. What a beautiful synchronicity that uh, Venus rules Taurus and Friday, and it, the full moon is on Friday and it happens to be Venus Day. I'm here for the magic. I love our beautiful magical universe. All right, let's get started. I got the uh, goddess of the moon deck here and what we need to surrender because during the full moon, it's a time for release. It is a culmination and a time for surrender and release. Write down 10 things you want to release and burn it under the moon, fam. Um, create magic today, right? Your intuition is heightened today. Your um, psychic ability is heightened today. The full moon tends to illuminate and it tends to reveal things to us. Uh, normally we get uh, a lot of breakthroughs, epiphanies, aha moments during the full moon. This is a moon that's trying to get you to take your dreams and create a practical plan and take practical steps towards your dreams. Uh, and last night, I, um, and from this deck here, we got a couple of decks from this deck here. Um, these two messages came out. I love you. I was in denial. So uh, somebody's coming out of denial. Okay. Somebody in your energy is coming out of denial. I guess they must have been in denial because they felt and thought that they couldn't be with you. They they didn't let themselves believe that they could. Didn't, didn't let themselves see it because they were in this in their in this mindset this limiting mindset that they you know that it wasn't possible right that it wasn't possible so i'm i'm just i'm not going to admit it that because when you admit it becomes too real and then things will definitely have to change after that you know um things it create when we're finally the truth sets us free when we finally admit to accept surrender and admit to what we're feeling it is a relief right because we're no longer fighting it or no longer resisting what we feel what the heart wants but now comes the you know challenges of um the transition of you know for some starting completely over right starting their life over which is a beautiful thing a fresh start is always good for everyone. So let's see. Let's check the energy. I'm going to use the goddess of the moon deck to see the message for Aquarius. Also the surrender. I already said my prayer. What is the mess? Thank you all so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. It's how you can support each other and me, family. I really appreciate the donations, decks that you send. Scheduling readings with me on every Monday. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Split the deck for Aquarius. We have attraction, unexpected, expect the unexpected. You are very wise. You know this. You're very focused on your intention here, okay? Hold your focus. Um, don't let emotions overwhelm you at this time. Expect the unexpected. You're very attracted, attractive right now. You're attracting in uh, everything. Embrace this magical moment. We have been seeing this. I'm in your energy for a while. Let's get one more for Aquarius. Expect the unexpected. You're in the law of attraction energy right now because you're focused, okay? You're sharp. You're focused. Yeah, you have released a lot. And you have set boundaries for yourself, which is sending a signal out to the universe of your value and your worth, okay? So the universe is bringing in your manifestation now, okay? Everything that you dream of, everything that you are worthy of, the universe was just waiting for you to feel worthy, Aquarius. Yeah, you're in your power. There's the full moon. That's today, okay? You're in your power right now. You have taken your power back. You have become empowered, okay? It's now you're being asked to trust and have faith, trust in the timing and divine timing expect the unexpected you have uh you're very strong you're very resilient okay you have been ten of wands energy there carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders release it okay today okay unburden yourself you have wisdom of course <laughs> look at all these books this aquarius energy 
Yeah, look at this peace and surrender. Oh my God. That's what's bringing it in. Uh, feel the peace and then everything will fall into place. It's not, ever, it's not, I will feel peace when everything is <laughs> where it's the ego, right? That's the ego. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this beautiful, you have so much wisdom, so much experience, so much knowledge. Okay. Um, beautiful here. We have wisdom and peace. Ooh. Aquarius, that's what's making you so unstoppable. This is a time for surrender. What is Aquarius being asked to surrender right now? Surrender procrastination. <laughs> that's one of the things to write down on your release form. <laughs> the 10 things you're trying to release is procrastination. Now is the time to jump on the goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract. You're in the law of attraction. So this is this magician energy as above, so below. As within, so without, you know, um, the law of attraction, co-creating with the universe is all about taking action towards our goal. You're in alignment. You're in the flow with it. Yeah. Surrender to receiving help. You could delegate. You could be needing to, you know, some support. That's where you're at. I heard, I heard an Aquarius say, I've been alone for a very long time. I've been alone for a long time. I have mastered being alone. I'm good with it. I got this. I'm good on my own. But now I don't, I don't want to be alone anymore. I want companionship. I want partnership. Congratulations. That means you healed so much trauma because extreme independence is a trauma response. Open yourself up to receiving love and support now companionship, partnership. I don't want to be alone anymore. And you're sending a signal to the universe. I don't want relationships that's going to, you know, continue to abandon me. I healed my abandonment wounds. I'm not attracted to that anymore. Right. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. You don't have to handle everything yourself anymore. This can take the pressure off. We saw that weight of the world on your back. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So we got procrastination there that we're getting rid of. We're doing, it feels better that way, right? It feels more peace to get the stuff done right away. You know, it feels better. You feel accomplished. You feel, you know, like there is the weight is off of your shoulder. That niggling feeling that goes away that you got to do this, got to do that, right? Instead, switch it to, I get to do this, right? I am um, grateful to do this, this and that. I get to go to the gym. Now I need to go to the gym or I got to go to the gym or I have to go to the gym. That takes the pressure off. It puts you in gratitude, right? All right. What else here for Aquarius? And surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. What does Aquarius need to surrender under this full moon? To miracles. Here's the miracle coming in. Oh, oh. Magic and miracles and blessings. May today be a day of miracles, synchronicities, magic, blessings, abundance, prosperity, health, wealth, success, joy, <laughs> passion. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that there, that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. So you're getting ready to experience the miracle. Surrender your comparison with other people and surrender to your intuition. Okay. Um, keep your eyes trained on yourself, focused on you. You have your own original gifts. Okay. Um, and talents, believe in yourself, Aquarius, focus on your own strength, attractiveness, and power and tune into the inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings flash, especially right now. The intuition is very strong. Aha moments that come through to guide you. Okay. So these are the things here that you're being asked to be aware of at this time. So, okay, let's find out here. What is uh, the energy when it comes to love for Aquarius? Feels like you're feeling good today. The, the energy of peace. You're, you're detaching, taking your energy back, taking your power back. We have marriage here, split the deck. A marriage of souls, a union of two divine counterparts blending together. Is that what you're manifesting, Aquarius? For the singles, 
that are watching this. If you're in a happy marriage, you probably wouldn't be watching these videos um, unless you're watching it for just fun, funsies, for guidance when it comes to, you know, your spirituality or your, uh, you know, career and purpose, things like that. Um, so you're manifesting marriage, marriage again, Cupid. Oh my God. I was actually just reading that right now. Cupid striking somebody here. Okay. Uh, when Cupid strikes, hold on. I was just, I was just reading that. Uh, getting hit by Cupid's arrow means someone has suddenly fallen deeply in love with another person. Somebody's in love. And somebody sees you as marriage material. They want to marry you. As, as Cupid, the Roman god of love, is said to shoot arrows to make people fall in love with whoever they see when struck by the arrow. So Cupid is here. You, emotions are running high. Look deep within your emotions about love. You got struck. Somebody got struck. They got struck. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. Confusion. Trying to make sense of it. Right? Face palmy. <laughs> <laughs> what is this that I'm feeling? I haven't felt this in so long. <laughs> my heart, my heart is beating. Someone's in your heart, Aquarius. This looks good. This feels good. <laughs> oh, it's the message for Aquarius when it comes to love here. There's obstacles, okay? Um, but look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. Be ready to receive what fate has planned. Stay in this re peaceful, re feminine energy of receiving, okay? What else? We have trust. We saw that trust earlier as well. Trusting your angels. Trusting the process. Trusting the journey. Trusting your connection. Trusting your heart. Your intuition as well. You need to have trust in your relationship in order for it to flourish. And your connection with this person is eternal and unbreakable. Admire synchronicities. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that's guiding you. The union of divine soul counterparts, a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. Divine soul count. This is a divine counterpart situation. A divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicities. It's time to think about everything you do admire in your partner. Think about the good, not the negative, right? Uh, focus on that. Right now, your connection is eternal. So expect the unexpected here. Tell me a little bit about what this person's energy. We have marriage again. Ascending. Divorce. Marriage, ascending, divorce. They're ascending. They're raising their vibration. So shadow work, they're becoming unstuck because of some kind of discovery. Okay. Uh, shadow work. Let's Let's continue. That was that the obstacle? Is that the obstacle that's keeping you guys apart here? Is this person could be closing out a karmic cycle in their life? Show me this person and Aquarius's energy. Show me their energy. Be ready. Be ready to receive. Stay in feminine energy. Intuition is feminine at peace. It's, you're in this law of attraction energy. You're you don't trace. You attract. You have cracked some kind of code with your with your wisdom. Okay, you're reaching for the stars, and 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 touching the stars. Okay, I'm getting. So you're in your bubble of peace. Show me this person's energy. Buys an ending. Soul purpose ending a commitment. Uh, let's see, spiritual awakening. They're going through an awakening right now. Within a few months, everything is going to change. The runner here, self-worth. I'm going to have what else? Dark night of the soul. They're going through their ego death right now, which the ego is what keeps us apart and divided. Ego and pride ascending into their higher self. Aligning with their soul purpose. Hoo. Hoo, 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 hoo. Big energy here. You activated this person's soul. Yeah, it was the wrong timing here. Okay. Affair. 
This person is having an affair. It's the wrong timing here. This person is feeling a lot of pain because they're going through the dark night of the soul. What else for this person's energy? Love at first sight. Oh, Cupid struck for sure. And this free will, soul recognition, soul recognition here, okay? Yeah, it's uh, something with, with eye contact. So, love at first sight. Self-worth. So, they're aligning with their self-worth here. Feeling worthy is really important. Feeling worthy of this connection of happiness, of love. Can I have one more? Distance. So, there's some distance. Some of you guys could be actual physical distance or there's just emotional distance or physical distance at this time. Okay, you're at a distance from this person. Okay, they're waiting here, watching and waiting. Okay, there's some mixed messages here because their inner child is triggered. They have some childhood wounds. What else? This person's energy. A lot of passion. This is a faded connection. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. Unawakened marriage chaser. Within a few weeks, manifesting rejection. So you may have rejected this person here, okay? Um, so this is a faded connection, or they may have rejected you, vice versa. A lot of passion here, okay, between you two. And um, and it, it's activated this person's spiritual awakening. So trust in the process right now. There's an ending of a commitment. I don't know if you were in a commitment with this person and you and you called quits. Or this person is ending a commitment in their life, okay? Or you are. And going through a, a huge spiritual awakening. That's why it's important to have trust and uh, to have faith right now, okay? At this time, I'm just going to move this over a bit here. So love at first sight, Cupid struck. There's some distance here. Some of you guys could be hours away, plane ride away, same city, different city, different state I met. All right. We'll get some messages from them as well. Spirit, what does this person want to say? I'm feeling hopeful. Yeah, passion has ignited the burning fire, the flame. This person here is... um coming out of a feels like coming out of a settling situation if we're not settling in their life so that they can uh surrender to true love to happiness to what they deserve and worthy of okay you're in your worth here you're teaching this person how to treat you self-worth look i'm feeling stuck i want to again worthy there it is self-worth i want to feel worthy of you i'm feeling stuck Right on the obstacles, past life connection, trust in me, trust is here. Okay, do you trust this connection? Do you trust this love? Do you trust that this person is working towards? It's a, it, Yeah, it's important to have trust. I want to feel worthy of you here, okay? Right here, self-worth, that's what this person is. That's the, the obstacle is that this person, you know, it's affecting their levels of abundance, right? They're not feeling worthy and deserving, which can create some self-sabotage. So I'm feeling stuck. I want to feel worthy of you. What else does this person want to say? I want to communicate with you, but it's not time yet. For some, they're going to communicate, but it, again, they're not really sharing much. Just, I miss you dearly. There's distance here, okay, between you and this person. But remember, that's just 3D. There is no such thing as separation. And the spiritual, this is a spiritual connection. You can feel this person. It will happen in divine timing. Do you trust it, right? Do you trust? I miss you dearly. I want to feel worthy of you. It will happen in divine time. Look, I told you. They know you are their soulmate. They feel pain. We saw that pain at the bottom of that deck. I feel heartache. They can't. They miss you. They feel the 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 feelings of separation. I can't stop thinking about you. 
I know you are my soulmate. This person is ending some kind of commitment in their life. I'm ending. My karmic situation is ending. I want to make things right. It will happen in divine time. So you just really, I feel like you've been really, with this peace card, it feels like you have been really patient with this process and, and giving this person, you know, uh, the time that they need. But I'm also getting, you know, time is, is of the essence here, right? Like time there here again, there's this, I feel like there is a time frame, right? That we're not going to give unlimited time for people to stay in their comfort zone and you putting your life on hold. You're not getting any younger, <laughs> You know what I mean? So it's like, there's no, if there is no actual change, you know, actual movement, you're just going to move on with your life. You know, if this person is not making the plans and taking action towards making the changes that needs to be made in this person's life to surrender here to, to this connection that is uh, eternal and unbreakable, which is why it's so hard for you to also, right, break free from it. Look at this. Yeah, this person is going through, you know, diff a difficult decision here in their life of ending a, a cycle in their life where they have been miserable and unhappy. It's time. There's justice. There's the universe. There's the universe, divine intervention and divine orchestration because it's time now, right, to make these changes. It's time. To refocus your energy and take action towards, you know, starting over in your life. Ten of Swords, right? It's time for this change. So um, it's time to become unstuck. The stuck energy is just doesn't feel good. All right. So this person is going through a de death of the ego here and um, ascending. Tell me, tell me more about. What's going on with Aquarius for Friday? What is the energy of today, spirit? Yeah, there is an overcoming the obstacle here with the Six of Swords. Overcoming, look, making a decision. This is that stop procrastinating energy. Making a decision here, okay, moving, transitioning. Some of you guys are literally at a distance from this person, like a plane ride, hours away, a different city, different state, different country. Okay, look, taking a leap, becoming unstuck, taking a leap of faith, freeing yourself here. Freeing yourself. Yeah, deep contemplation. Look at this dark night energy. Look at this dark night of the soul. Going through a deep spiritual awakening. Okay. Yeah, this that's the energy. It's a it's awakening process. It's a slow process. Um, but it is all about this person feeling worthy of you of this big love, right? What else for Aquarius? This is coming out of a period of dark times, hard times, conflict, and moving towards peace, towards calmer waters. You are looking for ways around the obstacles, moving towards happiness. Okay, what else for Aquarius? We have the emperor in reverse. The emperor in reverse could be somebody that doesn't feel like they're in control of their life or their situation. It could also be abuse of power as well. Somebody exuding, ex exerting forceful energy, their power. Okay. So, um, not the best energy. It could also be somebody that was in a marriage coming out of one, right? An emperor's husband, a father. Uh, but again, somebody here. I'm going to clarify that not taking control of a situation, not taking charge, not taking the leadership. Okay. Um, needing to do that, right. Needing to step up here and take control. We have, um, the seven of pentacles here, divine timing. Okay. Is here. Seven of Pentacles is investing energy, time, energy, and effort into what you want to grow 
in your life, reviewing, you know, um, the growth. This has roots, okay? Somebody could be reviewing whether or not they still want to continue to invest in a situation. Is it growing? It's growing really slowly, but there's roots here. Okay, do I want to continue to put in the time, the energy, the effort, the work into something here, right? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Am I getting, you know, am I getting the fruits of my, you know, this is something that's coming to fruition slowly here for you. It's grown, been growing over time. I'm getting six of swords. Clarify that. Why is this emperor in reverse? So somebody's just feeling you know a little out of control or releasing control let me let me let me see what what we got six of swords clarify that yeah leaving the past behind okay this is this deep past life energy past life soulmate it could be children even six of swords one more with the six 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 here already Yeah, we have the King of Swords. That's Aquarius, double Aquarius energy here. Okay, we have the Five and the Six of Swords. Yeah, you could be dealing with another air sign. Okay, or somebody that has the Gemini energy there. There's the Lovers. Very powerful connection here. Okay, spiritual connection, making this making a decision, a very important decision here. I'm leaving, surrendering. Okay. Surrendering control. Yeah, this is somebody here. That's that's what I'm mostly what I'm getting with the surrounding cards with this emperor. Is surrendering control more than um exuding power and you know more than um becoming more flexible, more yielding, more than I'm getting somebody that is abuse of power, more than that. So this is somebody here that is um Thinking a lot, okay? Thinking a lot, contemplating um, to a point of getting a headache, you know, about what to do, okay? But it's like this person knows what to do. This could be you, okay? They're trying to detach here. This is somebody here that is, you know, head over heart. That is detached, aloof, okay, very serious person here that's very wise, very intelligent. It's looking like this person, again, releasing control, surrendering. It feels like a surrender. That's what it feels like. Surrendering to the love, the deep love that you guys have and um, wanting to rush in to talk. I want to talk. I want to communicate, right? You guys could be in silence right now. It could be that this person is, you know, in their head about you moving on, try, trying to overcome whatever this, again, five of swords, six of swords. There is a coming out of this energy of conflict and stress. This person may have self-sabotaged a lot because of their overthinking and controlling energy. Okay. But it's like when it comes to you, they don't have control. Okay. Over, it's out of this person's hands is what I'm saying when it comes to they can't control you is what I'm saying you're an Aquarius you can't be controlled um it's a beautiful faded connection here this person wasn't awakened okay in this uh superficial marriage let's see or you Clarify the emperor in reverse, but now they're going through an awakening. See all the birds around this person, the owl or the, or you, right? I'm getting, this is your match. You have finally taken control of your mind. You have finally taken control of your thoughts. Somebody's taking control of their thoughts, not getting overwhelmed by their thoughts. And it's what's bringing peace, what's helping you to move to karma waters here. Clarify the emperor in reverse. Yeah, they're surrendering. They're letting, they're releasing control. This is good. This is good. This is somebody that was very controlling here. And now they're just going with it. Starting over, starting fresh. 
taking control. Yeah, taking control of one's thoughts. Taking control of your thoughts. Right? Refocusing their thoughts. And um, they're clear now. They're surrendering. Leaving something behind. This person in the background could be the karmic. My karmic situation is ending. Remember we saw that? Um... Yeah, like I said, there could be children involved, okay? So this person does miss you. I miss you dearly, six of cups, right? They know that they, the change need, five represents change. They know it's time for change. It's time for this fresh start. It's time for this new beginning, okay? They are re surrendering and releasing control. Yeah, and they're going to come in and, 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 again, there's roots here. Something's coming to fruition for you. They're coming to invest. Can I have one on the fool? They're taking a leap of faith. Or you are Aquarius. No more procrastination. There's a miracle coming in. You didn't think that this stubborn person, <laughs> the stubborn, hard-headed, egoic, they're going to the ego death, right? That's why they're soft. So, well, you know, look, I want to feel worthy of you. Five of pentacles. The fool. Clarify the fool with this emperor. Yeah, taking action, taking the lead with passion, lots of passion. You you ignited a fire in this person and the soul ever burning and unquenchable. It's a natural and undeniable connection. Okay, your connection is eternal and unbreakable. They have tried to, to, to you know, detach here. But again, it's not, it doesn't work. It's not working. This love is way too deep. Six of cups. It's very pure love too. And unconditional. Very pure and unconditional. So again, right under, be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. This person is taking action. Coming out of denial. Coming in to build, to look. There you are. <laughs> you can feel it. You can feel it. You have, uh, you know, this is coming. You have a psychic connection with this person. There's the flame. There's two kings here. For some of you guys, the same sex. For others of you guys, um, you could be leaving one situation behind and taking a leap of faith towards a new situation here. I'm getting that as well. Go with the moving on card and you and then and the fool here having a fresh start with a fire sign leaving an air sign for a fire sign or or this or this could be the sign when i see the emperor and multiple kings i see this being the same person because the emperor is all four kings in one and the empress is all four queens in one so i take it how it resonates i, I i'm seeing both scenarios here both situation is you're leaving somebody that just an overthinker behind that just was taking too long to I guess <laughs> decide make up their mind make the changes to wake up right to go through their awakening and um and you're taking a chance here with a fool card on a king of wands um, air sign a fire sign here okay so I got, got strong Aries here, strong Leo, strong and Sagittarius, um, Aquarius, strong Aquarius, three cards of Aquarius. I got Scorpio here with the six of cups, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Clarify um, seven of pentacles, justice, Libra, strong Libra and Pisces. The time is now. Look, the full moon, which is today. The time is now. To to, to the, everything is everything. We reap what you sow. This is a card of cause and effect. Both of these cards, the seven of pentacles and the justice, is you get what you put into a situation. You get what you give. Both of these cards mean that. So, you know, it's everything you're getting justice is what I'm saying. Every, the scales of justice is balancing out. Everything is balancing out for you. Okay, this is going to be unexpected, but 
low key, you kind of know it's coming because you trust, you believe, you have faith, you're, you've been the synchronicities, you have been told by God, source, the universe, your angels, uh, through signs and synchronicities and dreams and premonition and intuition with your psychic abilities, right? That um, things are falling into place. Things are balancing out. Things are coming in for you. You're getting your dream one way or another, whether it's with this person, that it's, this connection is eternal, faded, or someone new. You're getting it. You're getting your, your, because you're ready and you're aligned with the frequency. You're in your value. You're in your worth. You're in your deserving energy. Somebody's seeing that you, somebody's seeing you move on. Okay. You're the one in this, on this boat. You're out of there. I'm also getting with this buy self-worth and commitment and love at first sight here. I just saw it. I just heard spirit saying that you want because of your worth and your value, you want stability, security, companionship, partnership, the whole shebang. You want the commitment and you're fine with goodbye, pulling the plug, walking away. If that's not what this person is offering you and moving on to somewhere, somewhere else, justice, integrity, right? Doing the right thing, putting the time, the energy, and the effort, a balanced relationship. A balanced, healthy connection is, is what's coming in here. Justice, what you put your energy in is what you're going to get. Yeah, some, come on, look, ten, Knight of Cups coming in here to offer. Again, this person is making, taking action. Justice, I'm getting justice. They want to offer you, don't want to do the right thing, make things right. And offer you something solid and giving you careful, con careful consideration. We saw that marriage card a bunch of times. Giving you careful consideration, but offering you something solid here, right? Doing the right thing, investing into you, treating you right. Okay. Ten of cups. Well, look, ten of cups, four of wands. Manifesting a commitment, stability, security here. Yeah, you having you have to be strong. You have to be strong. Having the courage and the confidence here you have to be strong because this connection is very this connection is very strong. There's a lot of loyalty here. Leo energy again. You have to learn from your opposite sign, right? About confidence and strength and resilience and perseverance. Because this connection keeps pulling you in <laughs> magnetically. But the forces of love, the, the gods of love, <laughs> Cupid, right? Had to be strong here, okay? When it comes to temptation and saying no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, with your boom, boom stick here, Mr. King of Wands. This person is very attractive, very charming, okay? Um, the King of Wands, King of Swords here, uh, coming in here to sweep you off your feet, to do the right thing. Okay. The honorable thing here, trust right here that is happening in divine timing. It will happen in divine timing. That's the seven of pentacles. Trust and believe and have faith. I want to make things right. Justice card. Okay. I want to make things right. This person wants to make things right. They're dropping their ego. King, the emperor, it's it's not that they're dropping their ego. Everyone has ego. It's our ego is important, but it's like it's gonna it's healthy now. Oh, let me get. It's healthy now. Ten of cups. They're coming with the ten of cups. Their karmic situation is ending for a true love. I'm gonna pull from the monology as well. Tell me more about this, King of Wands. Yeah, they're, they're, they're surrendering with the six of swords control here. This person just very controlling with the five of swords, but the five of swords is a card of victory. Okay. It's a victory as well. A hard won battle. We keep seeing that you're getting a victory. The reason for the distance is because this person is going through an awakening. Give them time and space for reflection, for going through this awakening. They're in love with you. Cupid.
Okay, tell me about this person, this king of wands. It's a vibe. <laughs> this is your life partner. Enjoy the good vibes and energy with this person because they are like no other. This is how they feel about you as well. It's a vibe. <laughs> miss, they don't want to miss their chance with, look, love at first sight again, twice here. Look at that. Love at first sight. Something about eye contact. The instant gravitational pull you two felt when first meeting lets you know that this is a soul connection. Let's you know that Cupid struck both of you guys. And it's like your egos, right? And pride and fears, you know, is what creates the distance. That's why I said we're choosing our higher self. Which our, our wisdom here says that when we let go and we detach and we feel peace, it's when, it's when everything comes in. That's the law of attraction. You attracted this sin. Have you can so this person here as a, does not want to miss their chance. Have you considered all of your options? Did you give it everything? In the end, we only regret the chances that we didn't take. They don't want to miss their chance. Okay, very soon. Be clear about this person is making a huge decision right now. Be clear about what you want because within a blink of an eye, you it will be yours. This person once sees you, they know that you are the one. Okay, can I have one more for this person? Main attraction. They can't keep their eyes off of you. Attraction. You are the leading star. You are the center of their attention. You are the center of their attention. Okay? And uh, yeah, this person is in love with you. Look, attraction again, twice, more than once. Again, the energy is so strong right now. Your captivating energy makes you attractive. You wear confidence well. They love that. They're so attracted to your confidence, to your magnetism. You know, you're irresistible here, okay? Um, it's so sexy. It's so attractive. Look, they're about to communicate with you. They're commu this is a faded connection. Your, your connection is eternal and unbreakable, okay? You are the main attraction, Aquarius. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to pull a uh, guidance for you when it comes to this person. Look, secret admirer. They have, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. They don't want to miss their chance with you, but they know they see you moving on. That it's your confidence. Okay. That is, uh, signaling, letting this person know that you're perfectly fine on your own. You're, you're good. If they do, you're good. If they don't, you accept what is you're in this peaceful energy here of, you know, it is what it is. It's out of my hands. It's in God's hands. It's out of my control. I accept what is. It's fine if I need to move on to somebody else to date, you know, and explore my options. You know, I accept what is. I accept what, what's for me will be for me and it won't pass me by. I accept what comes. I accept what goes. I accept what crashes. I accept what, I don't force anything. I accept what stays. I don't force anything. I don't force ponytails, friendships, have relationships, for, uh, nothing. I'm not going to put energy into anyone that's not putting energy into me. I'm not going to give more. If you don't share your life with me, I'm not going to share my life with you. You know, um, again, this is an energy of put, you get what you put, you know, into a situation. If this person wants your love and your attention, if you want more loving, you, if you want more love, be more loving, right? Um, so this person's soul here, King of Wands, is heavily um, pulling this person intuitively, higher self, to the passion that they have for you. Uh, pulling them to, they have deep feelings for you, but they're not telling you. Maybe they have fears of rejection, okay? Again, with the worthiness wound, they see you, they have you on some kind of a pedestal, Look, they're about to communicate with you and take some kind of accountability here, okay? Our conversation is on the horizon. I want to communicate with you, but it's not time yet. This person took some time to think and reflect here. And they're getting their epiphany because the full moon is going to illuminating something to them. They're getting their epiphany, their aha moment here. A conversation is on the horizon. Someone is planning to reach out. Be ready to express yourself. What is the guidance for Aquarius? When it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. 
Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay, so there is no right or wrong, Aquarius. So, uh, you know, be gentle with yourself, with your decisions and your choices. Give yourself grace, okay? Friendship. So working on the friendship is going to be important. That's a, Aquarius is a friendship sign. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love will dramatically improve. Aquarius, um, you got a lot of eyes on you. It's not just this person. Look at all these people. Okay. You got a lot of eyes on you. People from your past. There's mo there's an emperor and two kings here. You got somebody from your past that's face palming right now. You may have somebody new that's watching you. Karmics are watching you. Okay. Um, there's a lot of eyes on you. But you have this person's full uh, undivided attention. This person here that's in love with you. Look deep. Oh my God. <laughs> there it is. They're going to surrender. That they're, they're releasing control, it looks like, with the emperor in reverse. And they're just going to go for it. They're going to stop overthinking here. This person is, is an overthinker. I'm getting bullet points, details. You know, um, they need to have their clarity. They need to feel certain. They, they are the person that looks for a sign or sign. It's like this. It's like, this is your match. It's like, you already know how this person feels, but they want double, triple, quadruple confirmation on, on what their intuition is telling them. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. That came out the other day. That's still here. Cupid struck. This person is in love. You're in love. It was love at first sight. Um, I don't believe in like, I believe in soul recognition at first sight, you know, um, and, um, feelings, right. Of familiarity and comfort. And it just, it's a vibe, right? It just flows naturally. It's like conversation flows, you know, there's chemistry, there's attraction. I'll believe in all of that. And then within time, it just keeps growing seven of pentacles. What else for Aquarius when it comes to this person, the guidance, healing, imagine, yeah, this is a very healing connection, a transformative connection as well. This person is going through it. You activated this person's soul, this person with the passion, this person is going through a deep spiritual awakening, a death of the ego. Okay. They're going through a death of the ego, which is what's causing, creating this surrender energy. Look inside yourself, examine what's causing you to feel this way. New beginning awaits. A new adventure awaits it. You have a new beginning with this person. You're leaving the past behind here. You could be leaving somebody behind for some of you guys and moving towards the new love. This person could be new love for you. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. When I get romance angels and moonal and end it with moonology. Yeah, as I said, new love, right? We have pay attention to the split to pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. What is the guidance for Aquarius when it comes to this person? Very soon. Very soon. And trust again. The situation. How Do you believe in this connection? Do you believe in what your heart intuition is telling you? Do you believe in your angels and spirit guides? You know, um, do you, how strong is your faith, right? When it comes to what you know, what you feel, what you're receiving, through, through your guidance, through your, you know, be receptive here, right? Um, it's called, I, I feel like you guys are so in tune, so connected with yourself that you, you, you know, in your heart, you can feel it. Okay. That this is happening. You're being with this peace energy. You're being very patient with the process. But again, for you guys, some of you guys need to just really get clear with the universe and what you want and then hold that vision, right? So it can come to you, clearly decide what you want. The universe loves certainty, clearly decides what you want so that it comes to you now. Trust. You guys are in separation, which is creating this uh, illusion, 
separation is an illusion, right? It's a distortion even, you know, um, it, it's a spiritual connection. You can feel it. You're going to be reconciling with this person here, the, the resurrecting. It's unbreakable. <laughs> what does it say? Eternal and unbreakable. This person is not going anywhere. They are magnetically pulled to you, drawn to you. They try to break free. They try to detach. They try right here to go away. They try, they try, they try, they try, but they can't. Six of cups, lovers. We saw the lovers, you know? So again, they're surrendering now because it's like, I, I tried for, you, for, me, for a very long time to move on, to break free. I don't understand this, what I feel, this connection. The depth of it can be inspiring, but also overwhelming. This person is now coming out of denial, okay? That's what it feels like. They're getting the clarity that they are in love with you, accepting it, admitting it, and now making the changes that needs to be made so you guys can start your life together and start building, start creating, okay? Right here. So you guys can start your life together. Okay. So let me get moonology for Aquarius. That's what it's looking like. You guys have a choice. You guys can move on to new love. You guys are feeling at peace in your life. Or you can, you know, watch, wait, and see what happens here with this uh, unbreakable connection. It's eternal. Right? It's true love. That's why. Forgiving and learning. Yeah, you're, this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. So much attraction between you two. It's like, it's irresist you're irresistible. What's the guidance for Aquarius? I'll give you a nice juicy reading today for the full moon, Venus day. You and your loved ones are safe. Gemini energy again here. The answers you need are coming. They are coming. Trust and believe that you're safe, okay? You're protected. Ground your energy, work on your root chakra so you can feel safe. A new start is coming and the conclusions are within reach here, okay? So you can't, everything is gonna be come to a conclusion. I get that with the justice card, right? Things are gonna be made right, fall into place and balance out. Well, everything you put out in the past is being returned to you. You're getting the love here, okay? This person appreciates you and recognizes how much you've given in this connection, your loyalty, how much you shared of yourself. This person is not a dumb person. They're king. Kings are very smart. Okay. All right. Um, I love you guys. I'll see you guys for the weekend reading. Have a wonderful full moon. Have a wonderful Friday. Have fun today. Enjoy today. May today be filled with blessings, abundance, miracles, magic, synchronicities. May everything fall into place today. May you be patient today. I love you all. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Namaste.